Hello, this is Sikai uh, shouting out from the Bronx. It is Tuesday, May 22nd, 5.14 p.m. And I'm not doing too much of anything. This video is in response to, because I'm, I'm going to get right into it, Black Girl, uh, you know, but I'm going to get into that later. Why Black People Are Allowed to Be Blatantly Racist. Exactly. This little child... <laughs> She looked she looked like she she ain't no more than twenty. God has blessed her. God God and God has blessings unto her. She looks like she's so young. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I found this video on Bossip. Now, Bossip is one of my guilty pleasures. Bossip is one of them damn let me tell you about Bossip and I'm gonna tell you and that's gonna explain the reason why I'm getting ready to curse some of y'all bitch some of y'all niggas out. Bossip is one of those sites whereas it's it's a black owned, black run, but it likes to cause scandals to get clicks. Cause you know, as you click on something, it I don't I it raises um it raises internet viewage, viewership or whatever, something like that. But anyway, uh Bossip is always pulling the race card. And I don't appreciate I don't appreciate some shit like that, but I still like to go specifically because, you know, like all of y'all. I like gossip. This light don't even work. Hush up, it's tobacco. But no, check check this out. The reason why I'm making this video is because now, for one thing, at the very very the very bottom of this video, I have uh, a link to the um, to the um, a link to that to the site. Um, that bot, but basically, Bossa played her video, and these uh, these uh, fucking Negroes basically called this poor child all out of her name, called her everything but what she truly is, and that's the child of God. And my thing is now, I, my mind, I was listening to her. She sounded like a little pickaninny, just as silly as she wanted to be. But you know what? From the mouth, from the mouth of babes. See, understand something, people. I'm 41 years old. I've traveled, let me tell you something, I've traveled across this world several times. In fact, a nigga like me is on my 13th passport. I decided to travel and I had to get a 13th passport. That's how much I travel. I watched one of the comments uh, that was telling her, whereas you's a young, you's just young. You don't know what the hell you talking about. Well, bitch, I am not, I'm not young. I'm an old crow. I know what the hell I'm talking about. And see, you know what? This is something that I didn't want to talk about, but I'm real glad that young girl, I'm glad she started talking about it. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. Black ass folks, some of y'all can be some of the most racist bitches and bastards I've ever seen in my own, my whole goddamn, goddamn blessed life. That's right, I said it. Y'all some racist bitches and bastards. How the fuck is you going to expect for somebody to respect you when you don't give them no respect? You can't walk in front of white folks and Muslims because you said say some shit to Muslims, calling white folks crackers, calling Hispanic people taco eaters and some bullshit. You can't do that. And then as soon as they say something to your dumb ass, you want to jump on them. Oh, they, they call me a nigga. You're goddamn right you're a fucking nigga. I didn't say to myself, you're a nigga. Stop acting like a Negro, you bastard. Your mom and daddy probably raised you. Probably ain't got no goddamn mom and daddy and probably was raised by goddamn wolves. Now, I done said it. I'm 41. What you got to say, uh, bitch and bastard? I'm going to make a franchise out of that. Bitch and bastard. That's exactly right. What the fuck you have to say about it? Out of any, out of any, all of you bastards and bitches that need to be upset, I'm the one that should be upset. Okay? I'm from the deep south and southwest from Texas and Louisiana. Now keep in mind, I've lost close friends, 15 of my 12 and 12, 13 and 15 of my closest friends in Hurricane Katrina. Watch three of them die after the fact because they, because they were dehydrated, they were shitting on themselves and skirted three, up, three of them, uh, two of them up here to New York City to save their lives. If anybody want to be angry, I got the right to be goddamn angry and hateful to white folks. Have you ever cut your uncle out of a tree after some after after three white uh, teenagers decided to hang him because they thought it would be fun to hang a nigger? Have you ever did that? Have you have you ever seen a body hanging a hanging a tree for five days on a hot summer? 
the skin starts to peel off and the smell is something your dumb ass would never forget. That smell was so bad. I had that smell in my hair. I had that smell in my clothes and I was, it's, it's traumatizing. It's something your dumb ass would never forget. So all these niggas and negroes and negresses that are getting no gossip and c cursing out that young child do understand something. I have a right to be angry. What you going to say about it? Nickel. Because he understands something. I don't give a fuck. You can say whatever you want to say to me. Just don't say it to that child over there. She's a young child voicing her opinion. And y'all fucking animals getting on Bossip. That's right, I said. And I hope all of you motherfuckers that come over to Bossip. In fact, I'm going to tell Bossip that I made a video about some shit. And I hope all y'all hateful bitches and bastards migrate your dumb ass over on my page. Let's have a whole brawl out, curse out affair on my page. I'll fuck up your self-esteem. Because understand something here. You don't call that child out of every name in the book. And you know you're sitting there with your dumb ass and you know you're wrong. Whether what she said, it ain't right. And mind you, she's telling the goddamn truth. I done seen this with my own eyes. What, you gonna call me a liar? I done seen it in front of my own damn face. Black folks are called, they, they're quick to call Mexican Mexicans. They're not Mexicans, they're Mexican Americans, you stew, you silly bitch. Call white folks crackers. And then, mind you, white folks, you stupid for laughing at it. If I was white, I had one of these black bastards call me a crack. I'm like, what the fuck did you just say? Or basically, like, like they said, what did you just say? <laughs> But in all honesty, I'm for treating people with dignity and respect. I love all people. White, red, purple, green, blue. I don't give a goddamn. If you got a heart, you can walk, walk on two legs, then you a friend. That's where I look at it. If, any, if anybody has any right to be angry, I have a right to be angry. I have every goddamn right to be angry. And I have an every right to be angry at white folks and I choose not to take that I choose to go to higher ground and you know why I choose to because Martin Luther King did it do you did Martin Luther King go about disrespecting white folks hell ultimately a white man killed him did his wife go about disrespecting white folks in public no she took the higher ground he took the higher ground and took the nonviolent route if you're angry about some shit, then you're going to have to learn how to communicate yourself a little bit more appropriate with some shit. Excuse me, I have to, have to talk of tobacco. I have to get a new lighter. This lighter don't work too much. But you're going to have to learn how to communicate a little bit better. Black folks, understand something. I know your pain. I know your pain, brothers and sisters. I know. You ain't got to say a goddamn word. I can feel your shit through this computer screen. And mind you, I'm just talking to the computer. I can feel it already. I know about some shit. I know about it. It gets inside, the hate gets inside of you and it sits there like a fat black toad. And it fucks up everything you, everything that God brings into your life. You can't appreciate it because it's just tarnished. I've been there before. Don't think just because I'm cursing y'all silly asses out that I don't understand where you're coming from. You have no idea. Every day. But I choose the high road. And you know why I choose the high road? For myself. For myself. For me. I don't want to give these white folks a reason to hate me. And I don't want to give myself a reason to hate them. You never know where the Heavenly Father is going to send, going to send my blessings from. You never know. You never know. You never know. I'm not going to sit here and disrespect. And mind you, on Bossip, 
y'all silly heifers and Negroes, you think that white folks don't see that shit? Y'all have embarrassed me. You think white folks don't see that? You should be ashamed of yourself for calling that, calling that little girl out her name. You know your mama and daddy raised you. And if you didn't have no goddamn daddy, you know your mama raised you. And if you had no mama, you had an auntie. Somebody raised your ass, at least tried to attempt to raise your ass correctly. If anybody has any right to be angry at white people, I have every goddamn right to be upset every mo with every motherfucking breath that comes into my lungs. I should be saying I hate them bastards. But I can't. Because it's wrong. I can't go outside and look at little Timmy, a little little Johnny, or his mom and daddy. They didn't have shit to do with what happened to me or my uncle or my family. They're innocent. And how the fuck dare I walk up to them or give them an attitude? These people are innocent. They ain't have shit to they ain't have shit to do with nothing that went on in my life. And I'm not going to bring, even if I'm in their existence for five minutes, I'm not going to bring that bullshit in their existence. That's not why Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother put them on this earth to deal with my bullshit. They have their own bullshit to deal with. I ain't going to do no shit like that. You have to understand, brothers and sisters, nigglets, to get your shit together. You think, now mind you, and another thing, too. You think white folks really give a fuck how you feel? They'd be upset a little bit. You ain't hurt nobody but yourself. You ain't hurt nobody but you. All that hate. See, the hate get inside your chest and just starts rolling around. You're fucking up your own life. You're fucking up your shit. fucking up your shit you think they give a fuck what you should do is get your shit together and put a fucking smile on your face and go out there in the world how you doing my name is such and such it's nice to meet you I've met a new friend get your shit together this world is getting smaller technology is getting more faster and more advanced this world is getting smaller baby and it's gonna leave your dumb ass right behind if you are out there hating people for no reason. Like I said before, and I don't think I have to say it again. I understand exactly where the fuck you coming from, brothers and sisters. You can look across, all across my fucking face and know I've been there. Look at me in my eyes. You know I've been there before. You know I have. But I'm not going to let that shit fuck up the rest of my life. I let it go. Let it slide off. Let it slide off. I'm not going to be hating nobody. White folks, Muslim folks, Hispanic folks, Latin folks, purple folks, green folks, pink folks, I don't give a fuck. If they treat me with respect and dignity, then they deserve my respect and dignity and eventually my love and understanding. And that's the real reason why the Heavenly Father pit me here on this earth. Pit me here on this earth. And that's to love and respect. I don't, I'm not going to go around holding a grudge against people who don't even know the fuck that I exist. I'm not going to have that type of hole in my heart. I ain't having it. I'm sorry for cursing y'all out at the beginning of the video. Y'all know how we get down. I'm sorry. But you'd only understand me if I was talking some shit. This, this is the way we have this is the way that we have to talk to each other. Cause you only understand what the fuck is coming out of my mouth if I'm speaking basically the way the fuck I'm speaking. See, I can't oh yes, brothers and sisters, you, we really must need to do that shit. No, nigga. No. No, Ninth Ward, Ninth Ward represent up and down. Washed away, but I'm still the fuck here. 
represent up and down. Exactly. Most motherfuckers, you understand me when I'm speaking the way I am. Now, I do apologize, but you know what the hell I'm saying. From all you little white people out there, you don't look, understand. I love all of you. I don't give a fuck who you are. I love all of you. You know the reason why? Because you're a child of God. And God is. You're part of this earth. You're part of my earthly family. I take care of my own. Because on this earth, this is all we got. We ain't got nothing else. And I love all of you deeply. And the reason why I love all of you deeply? Because I'm human too. I cry. You cut me. I bleed. I'm assuming the same shit happens with you too. It's called empathy. Look it up. All right, I'm finished with my rant. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna play this video back. I'm just gonna upload it on YouTube or some, on some G shit. Y'all have to excuse me, but sometimes I just have to, I, I have to speak what's on my heart. And sometimes I have to just say shit the way I need to fucking say it. Now I'm going to go wash my mouth. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know, y'all know how I am. People who watch my old YouTube page, y'all know how the fuck I get down. I'm as sweet as they come. Don't get on my best. <laughs> Okay. I love y'all dearly so much. Brothers and sisters, understand something. I feel your pain. I've been there before. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to learn how to get over that shit. Because if you don't get over it, it'll be a tumor in your life and it'll kill you. And I ain't trying to die. Not anytime soon. Anyway. I love you. You get rid of that anger. Take care of yourself. Have a good night. Signing out.